let's talk in today's video about the spells that we're afraid of doing because we're afraid we they're gonna work like they're gonna actually do the thing we want them to do the whole a fear of success thing i am not a person that normally even subscribes the concept that you can be afraid of your own successes what what is this nonsense like truly what does that even mean to be afraid of your own success to get the thing that you want and then i realized that is the key what if i don't know what i want what if i have a vague concept but the specificity that i would need to conduct a spell to really communicate to the universe what i want i'm not so sure about there are so many times when I think of wanting a better financial situation or wanting just a better career or wanting more art time for artistic pursuits, wanting romance. I have so many ideas of how I could do a spell to bring something about, to do a thing, and yet I am stopped again and again. Even in my own thought process, there are times where I don't wanna think too far because I know I'm good at manifesting certain elements of my life and I haven't quite decided is that what I want yet me and my mother were laughing the other day because I was saying how I'm so grateful to have a job and you know especially in 2020 all this stuff but I would really love if I got to do more of the projects that I would really enjoyed even within my job I felt like my there are certain things I really enjoy about it and I felt like the last several months, one of the reasons it was so stressful was because all of the time was me doing the tasks I hated. And I told my mother, I really, really just love to have a project that I enjoy again, even just that would be so freaking great. The next day, my boss asked me if I had the time within the next couple of weeks to take on a project that I actually would really thoroughly enjoy. How come I can manifest that so damn quickly? right but then when i thought about it i was like well i'm happy that my job shifted that way but i think of my in the grand scheme of things like if i what do i really want to manifest it is honestly having a project entirely different than what this career could even provide at the current trajectory and I think that's what it is. It's not that I'm afraid of getting what I want. I'm afraid of getting the thing that I will settle for, if that makes sense. When I do a spell about my job and my career or where I wanna go or what, what I'm hoping to uh, really obtain, like what do I f really feel like is the oomph of the thing, so many times I can catch myself midway through asking for something that isn't even entirely what I want. It's the thing that I am saying, well, I, I think I can get this. I think that's more achievable. I think I'm more deserving of this level. And that is something that I've been having a real hard time with with my spells lately, especially when it comes to the romance sector. So many times it's so easy for me to compromise what I want when it comes to romance, specifically. Uh, well, and I don't know why it's so hard, or not as hard to do so in other ways, right? I don't compromise when it comes to other elements of my life nearly as much as I do when it comes to romance. And specifically with the spells, it is funny how I am almost afraid to ask the universe for exactly what I want. And because what it really comes down to is if I am provided with something different then what was I deserving of the very thing that I asked for? Or what if I get it and then it's not what I wanted? What if it is like, be careful what you wish for? I get it and then suddenly, no, actually getting this and now allows me to see further into what I actually do want. And I think that is actually a step that we can't, you can't necessarily get all your ducks in a row before life can happen to you, right? I necessarily won't know that something that I really want is actually a little shy of what I want until I actually get it, until I obtain it, until you reach that next level, you don't realize that, oh, actually, I'm not content with just this. 
or there's just slight alterations that need to be had. You have to reach that point first. And so there have been several times, especially throughout 2020, because I felt like even asking for more was being ungrateful, even just from the universe, even if I don't declare it to anybody else, asking for more, not acceptable. So I'm gonna try to push myself within this month of October that I'm gonna do a couple spells. That's me asking for things I don't think necessarily, if I think about it too long, but something pops in, my doubts pop in about, do I really deserve that? Do I even really want that? Because I think sometimes that action is just necessary. 2020 has taught me in so many ways, you just gotta freaking act sometimes. Sometimes you're gonna mess up. Sometimes you're gonna do it wrong. Sometimes things are not gonna all just go how you like them to. And that's fine. Because it was a stepping stone to actually getting what you needed and what you wanted. What are some spells that you guys are afraid of doing? Simply because you're actually a little afraid of what will happen if you get them. What will happen if they work? Is it because you feel like you don't know exactly what you want and so you feel like you will then therefore end up obtaining something from the universe that necessarily isn't better for you in the long run? Or is there some other thing that I haven't considered within the premise of this video? All that in the comments down below. And since this is part of YouTuber, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.